This video is brought to you by Yaysim. If you're a frequent traveler, easily connect to internet networks abroad in over 120 countries with just one app. What's going on? Brian Tong here, and I hope you all had a smooth iPhone 12 and 12 Pro pre-orders. I know a lot of you are just waiting out also for the Mini or the Pro Max. Look, my iPhone 12 Pro in gold will be incoming this Friday, just like yours, and obviously I'll be dropping my review on this channel, but I do like to wait a few days for the dust to just really settle because now we've learned a whole lot more about the iPhone 12 lineup and the HomePod mini. So this is the latest for everything that Apple did not tell us and then some. Now, if you saw my reactions video, I broke down where I didn't think Apple was really clear about its cameras, its zoom range, and you all know about the lightning to USB-C cable, even if most people don't have a USB-C power adapter. And I'm not saying we had to do anything to do with this, but maybe we did because Apple changed its stance on iPhone 12 pre-order day and made the iPhone 12 mini and 12 the same price across all carriers when they were previously going to be 30 bucks more on Sprint and T-Mobile. So good on you because the unlocked version for those phones are still $30 more, but at least they kind of listened to us. So that deserves a good Apple. Yeah. Even if it was more like a shouldn't have even happened Apple. Okay, let's dig into more of what Apple didn't tell us. People are still talking and asking about that mystery kind of light black patch on the side of the iPhone 12 models. Now, some are hoping it might be a place to maybe connect something different like an Apple Pencil, but it's not. Apple doesn't address it on its specs page, but it's been confirmed that this is a window for the millimeter wave 5G antenna for the iPhone 12 lineup. And if you aren't familiar, there are two flavors of 5G. One is called sub six gigahertz. The other is millimeter wave. Now sub six gigahertz 5G is generally slower than millimeter wave 5G, but its signal travels further and it's used to cover more suburban and rural areas. Millimeter wave 5G promises ultra fast speeds at short distances and is typically placed in denser urban areas like populated cities. Now the iPhone 12 models sold in the US support both sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave. Now all other iPhone 12 models sold in other countries and regions, they're limited to sub six gigahertz bands for 5G. So uh, they've got to be thrilled about that even if it's not ramped up in their area. It's just nice to be future proof. Now, if you're someone who can take advantage of true 5G where you live, you're gonna love this new iPhone. But if you can't, which is most of us in the US, your experience just isn't gonna feel much different. Now 5G has been shown to be inconsistent and even at times slower than 4G LTE, depending on your location. It's just not completely ready for prime time yet for most of us. But let's talk iPhone speed now. And early benchmarks have surfaced on Geekbench, showing a nice speed boost with the new A14 Bionic chip performing over 20% faster than the A13 Bionic from the iPhone 11 Pro. And it should. It's also on par with benchmarks that were leaked earlier for the iPad Air 4 that's also using the A14 Bionic which it should. But I'm still hyped up about the power that they're tapping into for shooting and editing Dolby Vision HDR 4K 60 FPS in your pocket. Now, according to the latest P-list files from the Xcode 12.1 beta, Mac rumors revealed that the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max are equipped with six gigs of RAM while the iPhone 12 and 12 mini have four gigs of RAM. You've got to believe that extra RAM is gonna help out in the iPhone 11 lineup from last year, the entire lineup only had four gigs of RAM. And that just might be a reason enough for some of you to jump up from the 12 to the 12 Pro along with its better camera. Also MagSafe, this is really the sleeper feature of this iPhone if you ask me, and it's really more about the accessory market that's gonna explode from this. I'm also worried though, how are they gonna really shield our credit cards with magnetic strips if there's magnets right there? We're gonna have to wait and see unless the wall is just supposed to hold our stamp cards from boba shops. Mm. They've also got to have a really strong magnetic hold if we're going to trust them to attach a mini wallet to them. And that would also imply taking it off a magnetic charger will be a little more difficult. But from a technical side, you might want to check out one of those MagSafe charging pucks because they're going to be able to charge the iPhone 12 lineup faster than other Qi charging options at 15 watts of power. Now, currently Qi charging when being used with Apple devices is still limited to a maximum of 7.5 watts. So that's twice as fast. This is also a new flagship feature for the iPhone 12 models, but in order to take advantage of it, most of you are gonna need to purchase the $39 MagSafe charging cable and a USB-C power adapter for another $19 before tax. See, Apple's making you pay 
to take advantage of faster charging. Even if you just use the Lightning, the USB-C charger included, you're still gonna have to pay 19 bucks for the USB-C power adapter. Plus, it still has to be shipped, and then there's still packaging for that power adapter to take advantage of the faster charging speeds instead of just including a USB-C power adapter like pretty much every Android phone does. And you can't tell me that this is 100% all about the environment when you look at it that way. Now, we know that the Apple iPhone 12 isn't including wired ear pods inside the box for the new iPhones. They've also lowered the price of them by $10 to $19 in case that matters to you. But maybe you'll have a little France envy now because Apple is still including ear pods in the box of every iPhone in France. It's due to legislation that requires all smartphones to include a hands-free kit to protect children under 14 from the potential risk of electromagnetic radio waves. And I'm sure that those same radio waves have no effect on people whatsoever over the age of 14. Now, promoting the use of a mobile phone without a hands-free accessory in France is punishable by a criminal fine of 75,000 euros, and that's around 87,000 US dollars. So I'm pretty sure Apple doesn't want to do that. Now, we've seen accessories like the silicon cases for the iPhone 12. They've already started arriving to customers. I got them over the weekend, and people are also receiving the MagSafe charger as well. But the leather cases Apple teased they're still missing, so according to them, the new iPhone 12 leather case will be available on November the 6th, and I won't be buying one of those after my 11 Pro leather case. It just started peeling on day two. It's kind of trash. Apple also says the leather sleeve with that peekaboo window for time and the MagSafe Duo charger that looks pretty flipping cool. They showed them off, but they will be available at a later date that's been unannounced. So those are some of the latest nuggets of new info that Apple didn't initially tell us about the iPhone 12. Next up is the HomePod Mini, but before we get to that, thanks again to Yaysim for sponsoring this video. Yaysim is an app that uses the built-in eSIM chip on your phone in the latest phones and tablets. Instead of having to pop in different SIM cards for different countries, you can do it all with just one app. It connects to internet networks abroad in over 120 countries and is great for frequent travelers. No Wi-Fi or mobile roaming is required and there is no SIM card at all. Just select that data package that you want and you can buy it and download it to your phone before you go. Now by choosing activate later, you can buy a plan now in order to get 30% off the price, but activate it during any other day during the next 365 days. If you're planning to travel in the next year, use the promo code TONG to get 30% off your plan and activate it when you need it. It's a simple and fast process. You can replenish your data whenever you want to, and there's no need to change SIM cards anymore. Go download YaySIM today for free on the App Store to easily connect to internet networks abroad in over 120 countries with just one app. All right, let's talk HomePod Mini, and there was plenty we've learned since its official announcement. I'm still pretty high on it and what it could really mean for Apple's smart home future, especially for 99 bucks. Yes, it's more expensive than other options that are out there, but you can't tell me that Apple users that haven't settled on a smart home ecosystem are just gonna turn this thing down. Now, Apple's tiny speaker is their first to support Thread networking technology. Thread is a low power IP based networking tech that connects Internet of Things devices while offering a secure mesh based system that makes it easier to build an ecosystem of devices. This is also going to likely have a part to play in their new smart home device alliance that they form with Amazon, Google, and others. But right now, Apple's Thread support is only limited to HomeKit devices. And users, they've been asking this for a while, but in some nice timing with the mini coming soon. The latest HomePod beta software reveals Apple Music subscribers that own a HomePod, they're gonna be able to set their favorite songs as alarms on the smart speaker instead of that default sound. That's something that it's never been able to do before. The latest beta also revealed new options to set up Apple's intercom feature and the ability to add an immersive home theater experience when pairing the original HomePod with the Apple TV 4K. Now, some people were hoping that you might be able to pair HomePod minis to an Apple TV 4K or even mix and match with the regular HomePod. But as of now, you cannot. Apple even put up this comparison chart on their website to show that only the original HomePods can be used as a home theater with Apple TV 4K. Now, if we jump back to the intercom feature by saying the uh, magic prompt words followed by the word intercom, you're gonna be able to send your message to someone in a different room, a zone, or multiple rooms that you can choose afterwards. It's gonna work with HomePods, iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch, and AirPods. The only devices it won't work with appear to be Macs unless that changes in the future. But the HomePod mini power cable is non-detachable from the HomePod unit. And the other end of it is gonna be a USB-C connector with an included 20 watt USB-C power adapter. Thanks Apple. Like you can actually pop out the power cable from the regular HomePod with some force if you want to. It's not recommended by Apple, but you can. 
you know, we'll see if the same thing applies to the HomePod mini, but now we know that the HomePod mini gets a USB-C power adapter, but the iPhone 12 does not. Real nice. Now, Apple Care Plus for the HomePod mini is $15. It gives you two years of coverage with an allowable two incidents of accidental damage each year. That'll be a $15 additional service fee. The HomePod mini, $99 and pre-orders are on November the 6th. Now, in case you didn't know or weren't paying attention, Apple didn't make a big deal out of it, but the iPad Air 4 is also available for pre-order right now. And if you get it in time, it will deliver as early as October 23rd. You gotta love those colors. Now with all these new devices, Apple's also throwing you a friggin' bone. Anyone who purchases a new iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Apple TV, or Mac starting October the 22nd and later will be eligible for three months of free access to Apple Arcade, which is normally $4.99 a month. And in case you're wondering, Apple Watch. Yes, you heard about the product red solo loops and braided solo loops. They are now available because when they were originally introduced, the product red variants were delayed until October, but they are now available. So it's $49 for the solo loop, $99 for the braided loop with a portion of the proceeds for product red going to the global fund. All right, there was just a whole bunch of info in here, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, give me that thumbs up, subs up and hit that notification bell ding to get all my videos when they drop and if you want to go even deeper with apple check out my apple bits xl audio podcast where we just cover the latest stories and bring on special guests but thanks so much for watching everybody i will see you next time take care peace and love